Thank you, Father Dennis. Um, when Father Dennis first asked Pat and I to be the chairpersons for this capital campaign, my honest first response was, why me? Why us? Then after some initial moments of panic and after some discussion, lots of prayer and reflection, a very different message came to me. Why not us? This is our church. This is our home. This is our resurrection community. As members of this parish for over 30 years, this is our spiritual home and we love this parish. Over the years of living in our home down the street in Gahanna, we've had to update rooms, replace items, and even add additional space as our family grew. We've come to this resurrection home for over 30 years, at least weekly, often more. We have rested here. We've been fed at the table of the Lord. We've grown spiritually as persons of faith and have had a lot of fun and socialized with our parish family. Through this campaign thus far, several parishioners have asked us if the diocese will help fund this. That answer is no. While they are fully supportive of our plans and encourage us to prepare our facilities for now and the future, it is our resurrection family who is responsible to raise any funds to upkeep this parish and to uh, add any additional facilities as we grow. For Pat and I personally, this is the largest financial obligation we have ever made outside of our home mortgage. And to me, it seems very appropriate that that commitment is for this, our spiritual home. Our campaign, Faith in Motion, Realizing the Plan for the Century, is really a continuation of what the parish began 24 years ago, which began with building this beautiful worship space that we now know. It's now time to continue that plan and expand and update our facilities, and that's what we're doing today. But I will tell you, it's easy to get caught up and think this campaign is about buildings, but that would be a mistake. This campaign is really about first taking care of our home, setting us up with space to ensure the success of our parish and to ensure the success of the Catholic Church here in New Albany and in our surrounding region. We are growing a lot, and we want to continue our ministries. We want to continue our education, our catechesis, our adult formation, educating our children. We think about programs that we can add, um, ideas that parishioners have already added, such as um, there's interest in starting a food pantry here there's interest in um, adding a preschool. Um, but these are just ideas, but this campaign is not about buildings. It's about planning and accommodating the future. We need space to continue our existing ministries and add new ones. We need to improve our home. So this campaign is about growing the kingdom of God right here in New Albany so that we have an even more stronger, vibrant Catholic church. This truly is our community. I remember 30 years ago, I was pregnant with twins and ended up on bed rest for three months. There were many complications and I had so much fear and in, my, in my heart and my mind. I could not attend church for three to four months because I was totally bed bound. After the twins were miraculously born, we, were, we all returned to church. A woman I still to this day do not know approached me and said, oh my gosh, there are those twins. I have been praying for them for months. I was struck and overwhelmed. We were relatively new to the parish, not knowing a lot of people. And here, this community was praying for us. Praying for us when I was too afraid and sick to pray for myself. This community has lifted us up and walked with us for over 30 years. They've helped to form us into better people, better parents, better citizens, and that's what family does. This is us, this is our resurrection family, a true home, a true community, a true family. I know 20 years when this campaign for this church was underway, we were in a very different financial situation than we are now. We contributed for over three years for this parish. We felt like we were part of it. And we, we walk into this church, we know we were part of this vision. Back then, this was the second largest Catholic church in the state. And a lot of people thought, why build so big? Why build so much? 
But I am personally thankful to those who had that vision to build this worship space to prepare us for now and the future. And I'm thankful to all those who paid generously for this beautiful church. Now I feel it's our turn to pay that forward. And 20 years from now, I hope to be sitting at a big fish fry or a big um, parish event in our new community center and be so thankful that we had the vision today to accommodate that. There is no doubt that we have proposed a large campaign. $20 million is a lot of money, and we know that. But it's important to know that we arrived at that number through deep planning with architects, engineers, contractors, with parish staff, with Father Dennis, based on space needs that the parish expressed through multiple surveys and based on growth projections. One thing that is clear is that we are going to need 100% participation from every family in every way possible. We are asking for a grassroots campaign where everyone can participate. This is our parish. This is our community. And we are so hopeful that everyone can help us with our common goal. Peggy and I will be around after mass in a gathering space. Uh, we brought along a 3D model of the proposed buildings along with beautiful renderings and floor plans and drawings. Um, we'll be back there and we'll answer any question that you may have, so please stop by after Mass. We also have a website now dedicated to the campaign where you can get a lot more information. We have inspirational videos, information. Um, if you go to the parish website, there's a link right to our campaign. So one final personal thought before we end. When Peggy and I first discerned what our pledge would be, and as Peggy said earlier, our pledge is the largest financial commitment we've made outside of our mortgage, it was a little frightening. I first went to a place of, if we're going to spend this much money, should I not spend this on my family? Should I not spend this on my kids? We have uh, three adult children, all married. Um, they all still have college loans in spite of the massive amount of money that we still spent for college, but they still have loans. <laughs> um, but, but I thought, isn't that the right thing to do with our funds? And I really struggled with what was the right thing to do. But here's where I, where we ended up. All three of our kids and their families are in church every Sunday morning. And that's a blessing that's not lost on us, especially in today's time. And we realize the reason that my kids are in church on Sunday morning is because of Church of the Resurrection. I look out, even this morning, and I see so many faces and families that we've known over the last 30 years. And it's you guys that helped us raise our kids, that helped Peggy and I as a young uh, married couple. We think about the creed and the middle school tech and the cross training, the gospel roads, the renew, the renew too all of the events that we participated in, breakfast. It's this parish, it's this community, it's this faith, it's this table of the Lord that has my kids in church every Sunday. And they learned that here. So after praying about that, it became pretty easy for Peggy and I to conclude that rather than spend these funds on three kids, it's better to spend them on hundreds of kids for now and for the future at resurrection. And that is faith formation, and that is what this campaign is about. So thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Father.